Hello and welcome to my lead pages tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to create a landing page where you can capture leads and of course send them to a thank you page. If you would like to follow along, I will leave my link down below. We can either use that for easier login access or simply if you want to get a lead pages free trial. Let's begin. So I'm going to be starting from scratch in case you just opened up an account or you were interested in doing so, you can see exactly what you need to do. So under the landing pages section, we're just going to go to create new landing page. And here's something that's great about lead pages is that their templates, although they look very basic, if you just give them a quick look, the more basic in many of the years that I've been online, the higher converting they're going to be. As you can see here, they're going to be sorted by conversion rate. So the ones at the top here are going to be much higher converting through testing and obviously trial and tribulations and so on and so forth. And as you scroll down, it's not to say that you could use one of these and convert higher. It's just kind of preference thing. You'll notice that there's a lot more going on with these. And it's the simplest ones in my experience that always work the best. So with that in mind, I'm just going to go with something basic here like this one, super basic squeeze page. Really not much going on and that's what I like. Not a lot of distractions. When you arrive on that page, there's only one thing the person can do is either get the bundle, the free gift, or leave and that's what we want here. So I'm going to go with this. All right, I'm just going to call this free cheat sheet. So we're just going to pretend that we're giving away a free lead magnet, a free item. In this example, it's going to be a cheat sheet. You could do a video training. You could do an ebook. You could do a course that's now free. It could be anything that's going to be valuable to your subscribers. Okay, so let's click on continue. All right, and so here we are with the landing page editor. Now, another great thing, given the fact we're already using a landing page that's simple and higher converting is you're not gonna need to change a whole lot. So if you look at this, obviously the background we can change very easily. I'm just gonna probably make it a specific color. And then from there, all we need to do is edit the text because this isn't gonna be a stock photography example. It could just be like internet marketing, right? So with that in mind, something I want you to notice here is the lead meter. I think this is excellent. Not only is it excellent in showing the results, but these are things, once again, in my experience that I have found to be very true. So if we click on this, there's 14 of four things that 14 out of 14 things that you want to check off. So fewer than three videos, fewer than two videos, countdown window is brief if there is one. So the button is easily readable. Okay, the CTA has fewer than 24 characters. That's the call to action. And of course, the call to action text drives action. All right. So get the bundle, go here, click this, do that. You want to make sure that your viewer knows exactly what they need to do. I know it sounds kind of silly, but there's plenty of people on the internet who don't realize that they have to click the Facebook ad picture in order to get what they want. So you just want to make it as clear as possible because you could be losing out on leads simply because you didn't give a direct call to action enough. Okay, so readability. So bullet list, if there's concise odd numbers of bullets and lists, concise headlines. And of course, we have the opt-in form. So it includes lead capture mechanism. So fewer than three form fields, that is absolutely critical in my opinion. I think just having one is perfect unless you need more, that's gonna be fine. But if you think of it this way, if you just have the email field and that's all someone needs to add in, pretty easy to do, right? But now if you have first name, if you have middle name, you have last name, you have street, you have where they live, you have their pet goldfish name, they have this, they have that. Obviously the more fields in there, the, it's gonna really decrease your conversion. So I think that's perfect. And the rest of these look fine. So that looks good and pretty much what we wanna do from here, let's get into the actual, um, I guess you could say the looks of things. Like I'm not gonna go too crazy with it because it's more about what is on here and the ability to give them what they want, right? So let's click here for main content. Let's do edit section settings. This is gonna be the background. So with this, we don't really need this. We can just click on this button right here. And then of course we have a blank background, but we can choose a color here if needed. So we have some recent colors. I think something like a gray or almost like similar to white would look good unless you have a brand where maybe you have green to it, right? You could use something like that. That actually doesn't look too bad with the green and kind of the orange there. I'm going to go with that. So let's click off here with X. Of course, we have this here. If you don't want something like that, that's completely fine. You can get rid of that. So what we want to do here is we want to let them know what they're going to be getting. We have our main headline, which is either a benefit or how they can do something. And of course, our call to action. That's really all you need. So when someone arrives on this page, this they know exactly what they're getting and they know exactly how to get it. And of course, what's in it for them? What's the big benefit here? So with this, let's do, let's just highlight this. Free, let's see, cheat sheet, reveals, dot, dot, dot. Okay, let me just think of a benefit of something related to internet marketing. And then of course, I'm gonna type that in so I can just click right here and just kind of highlight this and then we can put in our headline. So I'm gonna do that for you right now. 
All right, so free cheat sheet reveals how to get a 78% opt-in rate on your squeeze page. And that isn't something I just randomly you know, took out of thin air. Uh, when I ran cold Facebook traffic, I ran an advertising, a few advertisements to get the best one. I think it was around 78%. Uh, my targeting was obviously very good for that, but uh, I got something and it was pretty much doing the exact same thing, except the background was white and there's just a little different, you know, colors here and there, but this is the exact same formula I use. So like if you're creating a landing page, I'm sure you would love to get a 78% opt-in rate. And if you saw this and you were interested in that, that's definitely something that you would want. Another reason why I think it did so well. So when you're looking at the lead meter, make sure that is, you know, at least good, right? Or like around here, right? Or if not better, because a lot of those things you really want to make sure you're not doing. So next we have get the bundle. This is going to be where we edit the um, the text right here. So I can just go here and do delete. So I'm just going to do click here to continue. And what I like about this is that this is going to open up our email form. What that is, is a micro commitment. So what that means, sometimes people think they can just click here and they're going to get it immediately. But what happens is it opens up the pop up where they can enter their email. So that's a micro commitment. They've already taken a step towards getting that cheat sheet. And usually the chances are going to be much higher that they're just going to take the next step, which is entering their email and then of course getting it. So what we can do here is go to the edit pop up. And you'll notice this is what it's going to be looking like. So it says almost there, please uh, complete this form to gain instant access. You don't even have to like put that there. I'd probably say delete that. Let's just make it very easy. Do delete and delete. So where should I send your free cheat sheet? And if you'll notice, I'm not too focused on like the cosmetics. Anytime I'm doing a landing page, I just want to get up and running very quickly. You can always change after, you know, if you want to change the colors around, if you want to change the font, these are the things that don't make a huge difference. That's what I like to call majoring in the minors. A lot of people do that. They take so long to get their landing pages up and running because they're focusing on the things that don't really matter. It's so much better just to get up and running and then you can make changes to it. Okay. So aside from that, we have send me the bundle here. This also we want to change. I'd say it's probably too long. So get access to the free cheat sheet. They know it's going to be sent to their inbox. Like where should we send it? That's why they have their email and so on and so forth. So there's also, we can just call this name your form. Let's do free cheat sheet. And there are going to be integrations for this. I'm just not going to do it because it's going to open up another window and you know, it, things are going to change. Now, if you look, I want to direct your attention to lead meter, get changed. I think it's just because this is a little high. So it says CTA has more than 24 characters or is less than the ideal length. So now keep in mind, if I have get access to the free cheat sheet and I change something where it goes from say like 26 to 22 characters, do you think that's going to make a huge deal? Eh, probably not, especially for the fact this is their last step, but that's something to keep in mind. So while this might be high, in my opinion, it's not going to be the biggest deal in the world. But if you really wanted to change it, we can let's just do give that a second to load. Okay, so when it comes to that, also, there we go back to excellent. What you would do is you would go to add integration here. And depending on the email, you know, uh, software that you have, you can integrate with there. I'm not going to go through that specifically because it's pretty much step by step. And it's going to be dependent on what email system you use. So uh, if you need any help with that, there's plenty of tutorials for that. But aside from that, something else that we're going to want to finish after we come back to it are our actions. So once we create our thank you page, we're just going to have them send it. So what happens is they go here, they enter their email and they get sent to our thank you page. That's going to be done right there. But given the fact we need to create that first, let's click on publish. Sure, free cheat sheet. All right, great, it is now published. So now we can actually go back. Okay, and now we can create a thank you page. So if we actually type in thanks or thank you, right? These are gonna be some of like the thanks for signing up, thanks for purchasing. Once again, you know, it's really up to you which one you wanna use. Once I think this one looks great. It's kind of similar if we change the background color, right? We can remove that picture, we can change whatever we want there. Let's go with this one. I'm just gonna simply call this thank you and click continue. All right, perfect. So once again, let's say we want some synergy here. So what we can do is uh, first, let's remove this. We don't need that there. And then we have our background. Let's click on the three uh, dots there, edit section settings. And of course, let's change around the color. I think it was something similar to this, right? It was kind of a, a green, not bad. Okay, let's X out there. And of course, with this, what we can do is we can drag this and you'll notice it was kind of like over to the left side. If we drop it right here, it can be recentered. And we can do the same thing right here. So drop right here. So this is going to be where we have our call to action. So I'm not going to go too crazy with this. I'm just going to publish it very quickly. Thank you. Looks good. Let's publish. Okay. Your landing page is published. So it says, thank you for signing up. Everything we promise will be sent to your inbox. So we could say like, 
Okay, so I put your cheat sheet is being sent to your inbox, but in the meantime, dot, dot, dot. So this is a great, what I like to say, quote unquote, real estate. There are so many things that you can put here. So depending on what you are giving away as your lead magnet, this is the perfect opportunity to maybe introduce something that your new subscriber might be interested in if you want. It could be something even more of value. You could do further training. Maybe you gave away a cheat sheet and maybe you're gonna be selling the full product. That kind of It's kind of like saying you go to a grocery store and you get a little taste of cheese. Like, oh, I really like that. Well, you can buy the full block if you want. Very similar here where if you give them the cheat sheet for something, you can give them the full training if they want to learn more. You can do an affiliate offer here. You can do a webinar. You can do a coaching call. You can do a discount. You can do a coupon. You can go to your YouTube channel, to your Instagram, gain more followers. Whatever it's going to be, the world is your oyster right here. Just make sure it's something that they want. So it's very easy to figure that out. What did they opt in for? If they opt in for pizza, give them something pizza related. If they opt in for pizza, don't give them hot dogs. Well, they might like them. It's not you know, connected enough. It's not as congruent, if you know what I mean, okay? So whatever you wanna do here, you can simply do that. I'd say go with like one simple call to action. I put here while it's being sent to your inbox. In the meantime, be sure to check out my highest recommended offer related to so-and-so that you opted in for. And this can be where it goes, where they click there. And obviously you take them to that specific page, offer coupon, discount, training, whatever it's going to be. Okay, so that's my very quick overview of what you can put on the thank you page. Keep it quick, keep it simple. That way you can get up and running with your landing pages very quickly. So let's go back and now we can connect both of these and I'll show you how it works. Let's hit the back button. And let's go back again. All right, so there we go. We just created these. We have our thank you page and our free cheat sheet. So let's go right here. Let's click on this one. All right, this is our squeeze page as it is. Obviously, they enter their email, then they get taken to the thank you page. And of course, they get their um, lead magnet delivered. So obviously, if you have a lead magnet and you're using, say, like GetResponse or Aweber, you can just simply link that in the email that's going to be going out to them. Okay, so what we want to do is hover over this. We can do edit pop up. And of course, edit integrations. So here we are. This is where you would add your integration. Like I said, if you have like AWeb or GetResponse or anything like that. So let's go to actions here. And what we want to do is send the visitor to a landing page. The reason why I didn't do it before is because we didn't have our thank you page yet, right? So here we are. We now have our thank you page that we created. So let's click right here. And so what happens is once they enter their email, they're going to get sent to that thank you page, which is great. So let's click on update right here. All right, your page has been updated. Let's do view page. All right, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. You'll notice I just arrived on this page. There's literally only one thing that they can do. Ideally, they're probably gonna want something related to this if they clicked on an ad or a link, or maybe you're doing a YouTube video and you said, hey, you wanna know how to supercharge your opt-in rates? Get my free gift. They're like, okay, I'll do that. And they land on something like this. It's exactly what they're looking for. So let's do click here to continue. And where should I send your free cheat sheet? I'm just gonna put in a random email here. A random test email to see if it works at gmail.com. Let's do get access right now. And just like that, we go to the second page. And I forgot, I guess the other one was green. This is blue. Doesn't matter. It's It works. Look, looks good for me. Uh, thanks for signing up. Everything we promise will be sent to your inbox shortly. I think I forgot to save that part. I just published it. But nevertheless, this is where you would be editing the things where it says like, thank you for opting in. As promised, your free cheat sheet is going to be sent to your inbox. But in the meantime, if you would like to learn more about creating landing pages and sales funnels where you can sell your own products, make more with one-click upsells and webinars, be sure to check out my free training where I've helped 100 people do X, Y, and Z. Simply click the button down below to learn more. Something like that, okay? And of course, given the fact that it's going to be sent to their inbox, the free cheat sheet that is, just make sure yet that you link it in that email wherever you're going to be using it so that they can get access. But all in all, that's going to be the very quick tutorial. I don't know if it was that quick, but hopefully it's going to be much quicker utilizing this tutorial where you can get up and running. The main thing I want to let you know is that don't be too crazy about the aesthetics, what it looks like, the colors, the font, the text. I know it's very common where you just want to get everything perfect so that when the world finally sees your landing pages, it's just beautiful and glowing. Let me tell you what matters the most are going to be the words on here and the words that you use. That's going to be so much more important than the aesthetics. 
Just get it up and running quickly so that you can start generating leads and you can thank me later. So that about does it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will leave a comment if I can help. Don't forget that Lead Pages has plenty of tutorials when it comes to integrations and utilizing their landing pages. I know there's a lot of other things you can do with your landing pages that I might have missed, but once again, this is just a way to get up and running very quickly and I hope it helped you. If you haven't gotten to test out Lead Pages, once again, I will also leave my link down below where you can get a free trial with them. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.